like to talk about how bad processed food is for you and the disease that are related to it. I work in the hospital and a lot of the patients that keep coming in, there's so many things they have in common. Diet is one of them. So that's the reason why I believe a, the information that you have can help you change your lifestyle. So the food in this country already, if you Google, it just says excess salt, saturated fat, refined grains, calorie from solid fat and added sugar. So that means there are three main things you want to know that you have excess sugar, excess salt, fat, that is not good for you. That's where they get a calorie. And the grain that are added that is there, they already process it. So that are linked, all these are linked to certain diseases. And if you just do further and said disease that are caused by unhealthy food, overweight, obesity is one of them, type 2 diabetics, uh, cardiac issues, which is heart diseases or stroke and cancer. If you go to CDC, that they have it, poor nutrition, that's what they are uh, under poor nutrition, they'll tell you how the lifespans and how good uh, the balanced diet is. You should eat healthy and all that stuff. But right here, most people in the United States does don't eat a healthy diet and consume too much salt, saturated fat, and sugar, which increasing their risk for chronic diseases. And that's to let you know it it's very like study has been done and all that stuff. Now it's up to you to choose your lifestyle. It's very up to you. Go, it's up here. Good nutrition is essential to keeping current and future generation healthy in the lifespan. A healthy diet helps children grow and all that stuff. All that. But the disease right here, it shows right here. Obesity, heart diseases and stroke. Heart diseases and stroke, type 2 diabetic and cancer. Because the cancer right here, the cancer is said. An unhealthy diet can increase your risk for some cancer. Consuming unhealthy food and beverages such as sugar sweetening beverages, um, highly processed food can lead to weight gain, obesity, chronic condition that puts you at higher risk of at least 13 types of cancer, including endometriosis cancer, breast cancer in postpartum. Uh, why would so this to let you know that all this food that we eat are already creating so much problem for us, and you are the one that's going to go through so many different issues in this farm of this year. A lot of patients have died. I've seen uh, many young adults that are battling cancer. Is it a pancreas cancer? Is it a, a, a ovarian cancer? So many different ones. God, like, God help us all. And if you Google what is cardiovascular disease, which is just heart disease, heart disease is a group of diseases that are uh, is a group of diseases or disorder that affect the heart and blood vessels. So when you say heart disease right here, it's also called heart disease or cardiovascular disease. Uh, coronary heart diseases, that's one that when your blood vessels have been affected. That's a, 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 I'll talk about that. High blood pressure, cardiac arrest is the same as heart attack. Cardio, uh, congestive heart failure is the one where your heart is not pumping right or is still thin or something is pumping or whatever. Uh, arrhythmia, uh, pulmonary uh, peripheral arterial disease. That's when your blood vessels, the one that goes into your uh, your hand, your leg, are not circulating right. Stroke, congestive heart dis uh, diseases. So all these are some food are linked to it because if you eat a food heavily loaded with fat. Uh, you like your fried chickens, you like uh, 
your fry food, your fast food, your processed food. It creates so much. This is all the image of so many different things. And they will put you on medicine because they will help you manage it instead of you changing your lifestyle so that you can be less and less on medicine. Because this medicine, every single one of them also have side effects. Even common Tylenol, they have side effects. And you want to, one thing you want to know, because the food are linked to cardiovascular diseases, if you go to CDC and ask what are the what is the mortality rate, what is causing people to be dying almost every year? Death and mortality rate. The life expectancy of people in the US is 76.4. Unfortunately, a lot of patients are dying. Some of them doesn't even reach 70 or some even doesn't reach 60. Unfortunately. But as working in the hospital, it's just you just have to save the leave it to God. Now, number one is heart diseases, that is cardiovascular diseases. It kills most people in the country every year. Followed by cancer. What the food we eat is linked to both of them. Now, number three, which is COVID, you can disregard that and or you can put it aside. Well, uh, our accident, that, that's different. Stroke, which is number four, uh, number five, is linked is also part of heart diseases, cardiovascular diseases. Respiratory issues, we can leave that aside. All timers, our Breathe on that a little bit because you want to think about it from this way. This is part of cardiovascular diseases, a coronary arterial stenosis. This is number one in heart diseases, is riot, coronary arterial diseases. So the stenosis is just like blocking and all that stuff. And what are the symptoms of the blockage? Blurry vision, uh, vision loss, confusion, memory loss. Numbness and tingling in the part of your body, that's a problem with thinking, reasoning, memory, and speech. And what is the classic or symptoms of Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's disease is a brain disorder that slowly destroys memory, thinking skills, eventually the ability to carry out simple tasks. What caused this? What's the main cause of this? It's thought to be caused by abnormal buildup of protein in and around the brain cells. How do your brain that has been developed, healthy and all that stuff, start? I'm not saying junk food is caused all timers. I want you to understand that. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying the food you eat participates in all your overall health. That's all I'm saying. The food you eat participate in your overall health. And all this new rise in diseases and all that stuff, we have to start thinking, is our food, is our diet, have the right, uh, the food, is, is there a link in it? And that is why I advocate for, uh, Balanced diet. What are the balanced diet? Seven major parts of balanced diet is good carbs, protein, unsaturated fats, not saturated fats, unsaturated fats, uh, fibers, vitamins, minerals, and waters. This, when you eat this in together, you eat balanced diet, eat at least daily. Like you have a fish, you have a meat, you have uh, like uh, beans in it potatoes, bread, all these, and vegetables and fruit, vegetables and fruit. A lot of people don't eat enough vegetables and fruit. Watch them for your vegetable and fruit properly. Don't be eating uh, neurotoxin, the chemical they have sprays on those vegetables or on those fruit. Don't be eating them. Watch them properly, remove all those stuff out. Don't be reaching the dye that we use to dye the vegetables and fruit. Remove all those properly. This is uh, so that you can have a healthy lifestyle, a healthy life. And I believe 
There has been documentary that has been done. This one is on Netflix. It's done 2017. And this one is on YouTube. It's done 2008. This one is the uh, is 2018, 2012, 2023. The poisons, the dirty truth about your food. It's so many, so many different stuff that has been done. But I'm just saying, like. When you come to the hospital and we're just putting you on pills, on antibiotics, so many different things, and your overall health is not healthy as well, it's not a good thing. And when you walk in the hospital and you are now giving medicine and all that stuff to your children, it makes you feel some kind of ways. It's just plainly sad. And all this food, be aware of solder because this weak your immune system. Processed food, uh, food and drinks high in sugar, refined carbohydrates and beverages, all these affect your overall health. Be mindful of the food you eat because they participate in your health. It's already on CDC. It's already on everywhere. Now it's your decision because one on three are pre-diabetic in this country. I don't know why. Stay away from sugar. It's not good. That's about it. I just want to make sure you, everybody is aware like this food that you eat can create certain problem in your life. And when you come, we put you on medicines and all that stuff. Thank you and have a wonderful day.